Welcome to Down the City, folks, where we find the coolest and most unique businesses in the Ottawa area. I'm your host, Jacob Racco, and today we're at Tanger Outlets at Chili Chili's, and I'm here with Helena and Holly. How are you guys doing? Good. How are awesome. you? Good, good. So we got the general manager and then the assistant to the general manager, or just <laughs> assistant manager. Whatever you want, yeah. <laughs> so um, we're obviously going to do, like, if we're, we're interviewing a hot sauce store today, so obviously we're going to make it a little rip off of hot ones. We're going to do it right. So we're going to get into a gauntlet of five different hot sauces here with our wings and cauliflower bites. Um, and of course, in true hot sauce fast or in true hot ones fashion, we're going to end it off here on the bomb. And you're going to see me tear up later and regret my career choices <laughs> here in a second. But before we get into that, um, how did you guys start working here? Because well, you became general manager, manager five years ago? No, I started working uh, uh, here five years ago, and uh, I became general manager earlier this year. And then you started working here like around the same time? Um, no, Helena had been here and sort of done her thing for a couple of years. A couple, year, couple years at least I before I showed it's, up. It's hard. Time goes by. It's all a flash. Yeah. yeah. It's all a blur. <laughs> <laughs> it was being able to handle spice part of the hiring process for you guys? Yeah, sure. I would say <laughs> to a degree, yeah. yeah. What yeah. was that like? Um, it was fun. I mean, because uh, pre-COVID, uh, we would do uh, sampling, right? And uh, so that was basically his, his thing whenever you came in the store. He's like, oh, you got to try this. You got to try this. You got to try this. And it was always the hardest shit, right? Because right. he was trying to see, you know, what can you handle? Mm. So, yeah, I guess that was a, sort of a test in a way. So when someone comes in here and they're just like, give me your spiciest shit, what do you say? What's your guys' go-to? Um, well, it would have been, at that point, Reaper Squeezins. Mm. That is... Uh, just Reaper in the name makes yeah. it sound scary. It's a, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a pucker butt uh, product. So it's made by uh, Smoke and Ed Curry, the uh, guy that created the Carolina Reaper. And uh, the sauce is 93% pepper and uh, 7% vinegar. You guys ever try that? Oh, yeah. A couple times. Oh, my God. It's a couple happened. regrets. <laughs> it's one of those ones for sure that you don't – it's not an everyday thing that you're, you're – Right. Like, you're not, no. putting, you're not putting it on your food. You're just using it to torture yourself. Yeah. <laughs> At least uh, – for me, I know some people. Yeah, like would. I mean, it's it's uh, uh, it's not Frank's. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly not. <laughs> no, it's not Frank. Is that like a beef here? That, like, if you guys are just like, what if someone like brings in Frank's one day in the back room, puts it on their food? Is that just you get fired on the spot? No, no yeah, we don't. We no, nobody here would do that. <laughs> no. What's the beef? My biggest issue with Frank's is the nineteen percent sodium thing. I mean, mm. and. It's basically just vinegar and pepper and salt. There's nothing else in there. Right. So, sure. Yeah. Fuck sodium, I guess. Pretty much. Fuck sodium. <laughs> Pretty much. Big time. All righty, now we welcome you guys in studio. You know, this is a little, you know, double uh, two sets going on here. What's this? This is a little high production podcast you got going on. But now I'm welcomed by the owner of Chili Chili's, Blair. Sorry, I didn't even caught your last name. Last name's Horvath. Blair Horvath. Are yeah. you related to the hockey player? Uh, Bronco. No, no, but I know of him and not too many young people like you know of him. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Cool. <laughs> How do you know him? Through your last names? You yeah, guys just know just, each other? Just through my last <laughs> yeah. well, Uh, Bronco. Are you talking about Bronco? Yeah. yeah. Cause he was a long time ago. I think he, I, he, play, he was played for a Canadian team, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not a big hockey guy. Oh, me honest. neither. <laughs> when I was a kid, he was a hockey player. Uh, oh, thank God. It's another Canadian that isn't a big hockey guy. Usually I get like the eye rolls coming my way when I say right. that. I'm like the, I would joke around about it on our other podcast and I'm like the anti-Canadian. I hate poutine. <laughs> I don't like hockey and I hate the cold weather and I also don't like Tim Hortons. So <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I can, I can, uh, I hate that cold for sure um i was definitely <laughs> born in the wrong place <laughs> you from ottawa i am from ottawa from ottawa yeah. and then um yeah no your spot's really dope by the way chili chilies we went to the one of tanger outlets i've been to the one in bayshore as well um and you know i just kind of want to thanks for stopping by also by the way i know this is a very busy time of the year for you guys uh pumping out orders and everything great to have you in here thanks for inviting me of course and uh i know everyone's eager to watch me you know sweat it out and try and get well, not tried, get destroyed by <laughs> chicken wings, um, some hot wings in the morning. But, you know, every good story's got a beginning, rising action, a climax, a falling action. By the way, sneak peek, the falling action is me just trying to conquer the bomb. Oh, that <laughs> didn't work out. But, you know, let's start with the beginning. Um, let's go through, like, the origin story 
of Chili Chili's. And I just kind of want to know um, when it started, was it more so through a passion of hot sauce that you had beforehand? Or was it you more so of a business decision? You saw a niche that was kind of untapped in the city and there was a way to run with it. Okay, well, uh, first of all, I didn't start Chili Chili's. Oh, okay. Uh, Chili Chili's, what are we coming up on? Close to 30 years it's been in business. Oh, okay. Um, and you've been there for 10, you I said? I took it over, it'll be 10 years ago, uh, April, I guess. Okay. April coming. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, it was a couple that uh, used to be on Sussex many years ago. It was, it was oh, okay. on the market. Um, then after 9-11, they were right beside the embassy. Uh, I guess with all the construction and whatnot, you know, no business. They lived out in Navin. They took it way out in the country. And, uh, well, it's been everywhere. Yeah, had this little <laughs> store out there. And um, what got me into hot sauce would be, my first name is Blair. Uh, Blair's uh, death sauce has been around forever. It's like one of the granddaddies of hot sauce. Oh, okay, is that one of like, the infamous... Like the yeah, Blair's, OGs? Dave's, you know, the... Oh, yeah. uh, okay, okay. Yeah, the guys that, that that came around, you know, after the Crystal and stuff like that. Right. Crystal had been around for a Blair's just does years. sound like a hot sauce. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were the first guys that... Uh, he was one of the first guys that started using extract in hot sauce. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, years ago, I found a... Bo- uh, he, his bottles came in a box, and it said Blair's Death Sauce on it. Well, my name's Blair. I had to buy it, right? <laughs> And that's what, uh, I guess, got me into hot sauce. How old are you when this happened? Oh, God. How old <laughs> am I now? Uh, <laughs> I don't know when I would would have been 40s, late, late oh, 30s, okay. something okay. like that. Yeah. So I was like, actually, would you say that was your introduction to hot sauce? Or like, obviously, early in your life, you would have dabbled? Uh, well, that would have been my introduction to, uh, you know, um, off or. Uh, not mainstream stuff, you know, like right, uh, like, right, like Tabasco, like uh, yeah, stuff that's been around for hundreds of years or a hundred years, whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that would have been my 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 first introduction to that. Cool, sort cool. Of thing. Yeah, because I've been in like hot sauce uh, shops beforehand and seen all like the lower key, like low key sauces, not the mainstream ones. But after going into like especially the Tango one, the Bayshore one uh, shop is like great too, but the Tango one's huge. And I was just looking around, I was like, holy shit! Like I didn't. There's like I think. Uh, Helena was saying there's like 1,200 different. Oh, somewhere like that, yeah. Like yeah. that's ridiculous, and they're not like they're all uni- like uniquely different to each one, right? Which is right. crazy. Um, yeah, no, it's a cool niche. Um, I find and like, what is the scene like? Um, in Ottawa, not even just Ottawa, just in Canada, because all the sauces we're doing on the show, by the way, four of the five of them are Canadian, because Canada's actually got a pretty nice hot sauce industry going for itself yeah yeah it's it's definitely growing it's uh um you know it's kind of like the uh, craft craft beer was uh right years ago. uh in the u.s every small little town has a hot sauce maker well that's starting to happen up here um ontario we've got tons and tons of people uh ottawa's got uh i don't know i could i won't one two three four five Plus others I don't know about, but at oh, least okay. five that I know of. Right, um, right. Yeah. It's a small community. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's like in Canada, it's kind of a new wave now, you'd say, like, past, like, what, 10, 15 years? Yeah, well, when I first got into it 10 years ago, you know, um, there was a few, you know, but not, not too many Canadian makers. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I was doing some research, and I think one of the places, like, Waterloo is one of, like, the big ones right now. Is that right? Or yeah. Or is that? Yeah, Waterloo... Uh, Kitchener area, right, there's right. There's definitely lots down. All there those areas sure. in that like portion of Ontario where there's not much to do, they just say, <laughs> "Screw it, we're doing something that's super niche, hot sauce." It is, right, right. <laughs> we'll make it work. When the junior B team's off in the season, we'll <laughs> start making hot sauce. I just kind of want to like we're gonna get into some more of this later on, but before we dabble into these wings, um, you guys ever do like any pranks on each other here with the hot sauces? Like you're set up for success here. <laughs> <laughs> to just destroy someone's day. Well, there was that one time. I did that willingly. Yeah. It wasn't a prank as much as a challenge. Okay. It was for sure a challenge. Yeah. Helena grew some ghost peppers uh, and brought one in, and I had said it would be funny if we <laughs> just had a little piece. And I was thinking, like, she would just cut the end off of it, and we would split that. But she cut the whole pepper in half. And it was a sizable ghost pepper. Was- and she handed it to me. And Blair, Blair had a video of it. It's awful. Um, but 
I remember, like, I, like the shock on my face when you handed oh, yeah. me this giant. The look piece on of her pepper. face was just like, uh, shit. Where's the exit? <laughs> How do I get out of this without? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, exactly. And so uh, we did. We did it. We did it. We each ate half of the ghost pepper. Yes, and then part of the deal was to to eat it and then go out because at that time we were still doing sampling. So we would eat it and then go out and serve a customer. So this is before a shift. No, no, it was, the store During was open. During the shift. During, the Mid store shift, was open. Mid Blair was t totally on board yep. with, yeah, both of us doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we both we both came out and served a customer and yep. then immediately retreated to the back where oh, yeah. we had, um, like a, it was like a pint of like chocolate coconut Ch milk ice cream. And we were just back and forth. Like, <laughs> just spooning, fun. crying, yeah. eating, crying, yeah. eating, repeat. Like, yeah. They watching yeah. a sad movie or just eating ghost peppers over here? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> one of us threw up. I won't tell you which one was. Uh, hint, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So ghost pepper, I'm guessing that would be on the maximum end of the scale. Because before we get into these wings, I want to... Uh, let people know like where they rank on the scale and on your guys' website, there's a one to 11 scale, kind yes. of. It's one to 10 and then the last one's like the death skeleton the, emoji. Yeah, the 11 uh, uh, rating is for extracts. Extracts ah. and uh, challenges. Okay, okay. Yeah. So is that scale a universal scale or is that a chili no, chili scale? That's, that's, that's ours. How do you guys like come up with that? Uh, by experience. And, uh, you know, like you just go by what type of pepper is in the, the sauce, uh, how much of it is in there, uh, is there any extract in there. And uh, also, a lot of companies have their own ratings on there that uh, gives you a pretty rough idea. Right, right. Yeah. Well, but uh, a, f a fresh ghost pepper sits around 1 million Scoville. 1 million Scoville. That's yeah. a lot of Scoville. Yeah. It's a lot of Scoville. That's a lot of little Scovilles yeah. running around your mouth. Right. More than Angry. I can handle. What's Angry a... Scovilles. <laughs> Is there a good amount of Scoville, though? I think any amount of Scoville is good. I You're mean, nuts. Yeah, um, well, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, not arguing. I don't that. have. I don't think you probably do either. I don't have like a numerical. This is my range that yeah. I like. Right. Because most of the sauces that I like don't have extract in them, so they tend to not be rated at all. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, there's uh, there's definitely some that. Uh, push the limit yeah for me i mean there, there there's a time and a place for everything right like i don't i use hot sauce every day that doesn't mean i use 50 million scoville hot sauce every day right right it all depends on what i'm eating what i'm in the mood for uh is anybody else eating with me like am i cooking for other people or just for myself i mean if i'm making a meal for my three-year-old grandson i'm not going to throw ghost peppers into it well you gotta start them young <laughs> That's how I got into it. To be fair, they both eat hot sauce. There you go. Yeah, uh, I have uh, two. One is uh, three, and the other one is seven, and they both eat hot sauce. But um, just going back to the business uh, side of things, um, is this the first business you've ever owned, or have you had experience in the past owning businesses? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I've worked for myself for a long time, uh, pretty much since uh, I would say nineteen ninety. Now, my corp that owns Chili Chili's right. was incorporated in 1990. Okay, so you've been self-employed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what like what kind of stuff have you done in the past? Uh, it was mostly renovation style stuff. Oh, okay, uh, cool. We used to do uh, insulation, attic insulation, uh, basement insulation, and basement renovations. Then I got a hold of a couple of products that I, I, I that weren't in Canada. Uh, one was uh, a high-end uh, eaves trough protection or gutter <laughs> see, protection. Yeah, it's always these weird things that people get into that actually are great ideas that no one would ever think to do. Right, and you know, it, it, it's I like to get into things that other people aren't doing necessarily. Right. right? That, yeah, it keeps it exciting. Exactly. Exactly. So, so you like renovations is kind of more of like the service sector, I guess, and then you went to products and hot sauce. But just from being in the store. Um, you can get, I kind of got a vibe that it's, it's different than other businesses. So compared to the, uh, work you've done in the past, self-employed, like owning other businesses, what makes Chili Chili's different in like working with hot sauce? Well, uh, let's put it this way. When I was selling the, say, say the use trap protection, right? My customers were, were, uh, older people, uh, with some cash and, and they didn't want to climb up a ladder, right? 
fair. The, the yeah. stuff, the stuff sold for, you know, five times the price of the eaves trough itself. So um, I had to. Margins were good. <laughs> it was expensive to buy, but it, but it, but right. it also was expensive to to install. So uh, you know you. I guess you had some constraints as to how you dressed when you went to people's houses to sell mm. them that sort of stuff, right? Now with uh, chili chilies, well, hey, I can dress however I want. Right. Uh, last week I had a mullet. Actually, no way on tuesday <laughs> week late we're a week late on this episode <laughs> but you know i wear t-shirts every day i couldn't do that before i, I did when i when i was doing the renovation work but not, right. yeah, not yeah. when i was selling yeah. you know i had to so it kind of just like changed your lifestyle completely yeah it uh yeah would you I, see like running chili chilies more so now is like more of a lifestyle than a career job well uh it's a lot of work, uh, especially right now. Um, you know, we the labor market's pretty tight, right? Um, I don't since we've grown and we we we're definitely growing and and continue to grow. Um, I don't get to sell it much anymore. Uh, I spend my time in front of a computer and and right. and, and moving boxes. A lot of know? back end. So you're in the <laughs> warehouse a lot too, right? Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. So, um, but. You know, uh, when I do get in the store, I have fun. So let's get into it here, actually, with the first sauce, which, in fact, is your sauce, Holly. You made this sauce yourself. This um, is my baby. Gups. Mm. Let's start off with Gups. Maple habanero sauce. This is a 4 out of 11 on the scale. Tell me about it. Yeah, so, um, like I said, I've been working here for a minute. have had the chance to uh, try a lot of sauces and sort of uh, see what I like, see what I don't like as much. And this is sort of the product of that. I'm a big fan of this, the sweet heat situation when it comes to a sauce. So that was my my goal here. It's named after my uh, weird looking cat, Guppy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we, we started that uh, like basically the beginning of this year and it went on the shelves in October. So yeah, it's pretty and it's new. it's doing extremely well. Nice, good for you. Yeah. That's great to hear. So is it like a partnership between you and Chili Chili's then? Like the release of it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is the only place that you can get it. Uh, as of right now, um, and that's I think we, we plan on keeping it that way, exclusive to the store, uh, which is kind of cool, just because like you know where to get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. I like that. Um, what kind of inspired you to make your own hot sauce? Like, would you have wanted to do that before working at Chili Chili's, or like after working, you're like, you know what? I've tried some of these. I can do better. Let me do it. Yeah. I mean, some of it was that. I mean, I a lot of the sauces in here excellent so i i would even just being put up against them as an equal would be awesome um but no i went to i went to school uh to be a graphic designer and so just the the combination of loving the product itself and then being able to observe all these labels and sort of do my own thing with it it was sort of like the best of both worlds for me where it's like oh this is the this is the perfect product essentially for me to work on cool so yeah. being a graphic designer did you do the labeling yourself then i did wow. i did jack of all trades oh, got a couple <laughs> tricks up my sleeve <laughs> thank you all righty let's get you into should it here on the ukulele okay we don't need to get into that oh wow all right <laughs> let's get into it here all let's right crack do you want to open. serve it up uh how do we how are we doing this i think we just grab i got Five wings for me, five wings for you, and then five cauliflower bites for you. I think we just like grab one at a time, yeah. one dab. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, maybe the first two, I'll eat the full wing, maybe. Okay. It is 8.30 in the morning here, folks. This is how we're starting our day. <laughs> cool. <laughs> just burning holes in our stomachs. Um, yeah, let's crack it open. Awesome. We need a garbage can. Four. In, ca in, in case I throw up. <laughs> no, for the wings. Oh, for the, oh, the wing remnants. Yes. Unless you're doing you want to throw them on the table. I mean, yeah, it's good. You don't need one. That would be barbaric. The These are huge. Massive. Bullets. I know. The, the <laughs> cauliflower bites are big. I mean, I've never made cauliflower bites, so I was kind of stressing out last night. Like, do those look good? They are look those, good. They're, no, they look edible for sure. That's for how sure, they're supposed sure. to look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a compliment. They look edible. I'll, eat, I'll, eat, I'll be eating those for sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, okay, as we're doing this, I just want to know. What is, like, how do you make your own hot sauce? Like, what is that process like? It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of trial and error, uh, especially at the beginning, coming up with a recipe. This one took me four or five batches at home. 
And then, you know, all the boring stuff where you have to register your business and come up with right, business right, name right. and whatever. Um, but yeah, the, the longest part was for sure just coming up with the, the base recipe. And then we had to find a kitchen to cook it in, a commercial kitchen, um, where we cook it and bottle it here in Ottawa. Um, yeah, it's like a, there's a lot of steps. There's many steps that you wouldn't even, wouldn't even think of. Hmm, interesting. All right, yeah. let's get into it. Cool. Let's see what we think of it. Well, you guys have already tried it, so. Oh, I've know. tried this a couple times. <laughs> a few times. And I've tried a few test batches, too. It was fun. We can go a little heavy. Wow, you're putting quite one. a bit on that. Oh, it's yeah, uh, but this is, this, is, this, this is fine. Right, yeah, so this is a 4 out of 11 on the scale. Exactly, yeah. It's The base of it is uh, red pepper, tomato, habanero, and then there's some maple syrup in there to sweeten it. It's a... Uh, not super duper complicated, but it's yeah, it's not uh, not gonna blow it's, your head off. Yeah, it's still it's still tricky to get the balance of ingredients right, just because you know what you want in there, uh, doesn't mean you know exactly in what amounts. So that's right. why it takes quite a while to uh, uh, develop and perfect recipes for this. I mean, I I know of sauces that where uh, the maker has been at it for like six months up to a year trying to figure out the right combination of everything. Just perfectionist yeah. with it, always fine tuning it. Yeah. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers to having cold, hot wings ding. at eight in the morning. A ding. Air ding for the vegan. <laughs> Put this whole thing in my mouth, I guess. Mm, that's nice. Okay. I like that. <laughs> it's a beautiful See that sauce. Right there. That's my ceiling for spice. That's what I like. Okay. That's what I like. Oh, we start with your ceiling. Cool. Yeah. Right, cool. So, this is going to suck. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. No, I like that. That's good. So, what made you decide on the maple twist? Um, I'd seen a lot of other uh, companies use brown sugar, which I was really interested in using. Um, and then I thought it would be kind of cool and a little bit extra Canadian to use maple syrup instead and I love maple just as a flavor um and it, it works really well especially if you're using it for like breakfast food which I've heard a lot of people say that they use it for so we're doing right now yeah well <laughs> for breakfast sure it is <laughs> but yeah no I thought it was just like something something different enough that yeah set it apart from other sauces on the shelf no I like that because earlier you even said you like the sweet and hot mix and whenever mm. I get hot like wings at a restaurant, I like the hot and honey mix. It's a good mm -hmm, mix to right. have. And then also the maple twist. Maple's good. If you do it right, and you did it right, I will say. Because sometimes the people fuck it up. <laughs> and sometimes the maple's a little it too happens. Canadian, you know? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to back up, I can tell you how it exactly happened. Uh, okay. We. Uh, so, I used to do um, winter time, I'd be off. Uh, because we didn't install any of this gutter protection in the winter um, and start up in the spring would be this Ottawa spring home show. So we do the home show. Uh, I'd get a bunch of leads and then I'd go out and run the leads. Well, uh, 10 years ago, this spring coming, um, it'd been two weeks after the home show, had a ton of leads, had run a ton of them, hadn't sold a damn thing, not one. Wow. And um, I was, had a call in Orleans and then after that I was going to Maxville. And, on, and so going cross country and along the way was Navin. And didn't get the one in New Orleans, but as I passed Navin where Chili Chili's was, I said, you know what? If I get this one in Maxville, I'm going to stop and buy some hot sauce. Got the one in Maxville. Uh, I'm on my way back cross country. I got another call in New Orleans. And as I'm approaching um, Navin, the turnoff, I'm like in my head, you know, I'm going, I'm not going, I'm going, I'm not going, I'm going. <laughs> right. And, <clears throat> I found myself in the turning lane, pulled in, uh, into Navin, pulled up to the store. There's a big sign in the door that says, closing permanently. I think it said April 15th or something like that. What? Anyway, bought some hot sauce, contacted them that night. Uh, no, we're not, we're not selling. We're just getting out of the business. You know, we're, we're moving on with our life. Uh, we've been doing this for, I don't know what the years were, 10 years, whatever, <laughs> yeah. or, or sorry, 20 years. Uh, we're moving and we don't have time to train anybody. It's not for sale. Hmm. And what I was thinking was, you know what? I really want the website. No one's selling this. I, I want the website. So back and forth, back and forth. Took a couple of weeks. Um, and they finally agreed. Wow, I twisted their arm. Yeah. But no training, nothing, you know. 
basically I bought chili chilies, I bought the fixtures, I didn't uh, didn't buy any hot sauce. They just sold everything they had. But wow, so you're starting from ground zero, basically. I didn't even have a place to put it because <laughs> yeah, you just had the domain. Yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah, and 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 shelving and and you know the name and yeah. Wow. So um, and um, I lived in Manitou. So I said, well, you know what? If this place could make it in Navin, should be able to make it in Manitou. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> So I found a spot. We were closed for a couple of months. Found a spot, did a renovation on it. Uh, landlord, anyway, forget about him. Uh, <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> uh, and opened up in Manitic. And uh, there were a lot of nights I, w- I was connected to a bar. And there were a lot of nights that uh, I, w- I, w- I lived in Manitic. So I- I'd hang out there. We weren't getting a lot of sales. And, you know. I'm beside a bar, so I figure, well, you know what? I'm at home. I can, I'll hang out here for a bit. Stay till 10 o'clock and maybe get $12 in sales. It, it, okay. Yeah, there was shit like that. <laughs> so, but now we got the yeah, two wow. stores. We got the websites rocking. Uh, That's know. crazy. Like, well, well, that first, like, two years must have been a crazy grind to get oh, yeah. it. Because like, I was still selling, I was still selling gutter helmet during Oh, day. wow. When did you <laughs> stop doing that? About two years into it. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, opened up a store in Merrickville, so I had Merrickville and Manitek at the same time, and then to get into the city, uh, I don't know how long ago it was now, but my first place in the city was a kiosk in, in Bayshore in okay. front of the Apple store. That's good foot traffic. Yeah. That's good foot at traffic. Cri- at Christmas time, yeah. And then about six months later, we got a temp in, in Bayshore. But speaking of Canada somehow, whatever you were saying earlier, Mm -hmm. um, the next sauce we're doing here is also uh, based in Canada, Ginger Goat. That's the company. And we're going to do the original hot sauce, which is a 5 out of 11 on the scale here. Um, So this sauce was recommended by you. And this sauce was actually featured on Hot Ones. Yes. Um, Season 15. That was the last season, right? We're doing season 16 right now? uh, Yeah, the season previous to this one. So that's pretty cool because there's actually a lot of Canadian sauces featured on Hot Ones. Right. And uh, uh, Chris, uh, the maker of uh, Ginger Goat, was actually here a few weeks ago. Oh, did, really? Yeah. Did a little appearance at the store. Um, his uh, fiance's uh, family is uh, from up here. So uh, he stopped by one Saturday and we had him set up uh, in our back corner here. He was uh, chatting with people and uh, giving out samples and stuff. And uh uh, we sold a little over three cases in uh, less than three hours. Wow. His sauce is phenomenal. It's uh, smoked uh, pineapple with uh, brown sugar and uh, yellow Carolina Reaper. What's the difference between just a normal Carolina Reaper and a yellow one? Uh, the, there, there, is a, there is a little bit of a flavor difference. Um, the Red Reaper, I would think, is a bit more fruity. Mm. And the yellow is a little bit more floral. Mm. Heat level wise, there isn't a lot of difference, but uh, uh, it's not one of the top ingredients in the sauce, which is why it's still rated as a medium. Right, right. Yeah. Um, when we were talking over the pho- phone, we were just bouncing off recommendations for the sauces that we should do, and you said ginger goat. And in my head, immediately, I was like, okay, we're only doing this if the logo is what I think it is. And in my head, I was like, it better be a goat with a ginger beard. And it is. So I was like, well, perfect. Well, yes, because Chris does have a ginger goatee. So that's that, That's actually what brought about perfect. The, uh, the name of it. I love the name. Um, all right, let's break it out. All right. Let's break it out. Um, so yeah, with this sauce being featured on Hot Ones, do you get people just coming in here all the time being like, hey guys, what are the Hot Ones sauces? Just put, like, give me whatever's on Hot Ones. Yes, which is why we ended up putting the dots on the shelves so we could basically because oh okay everything, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. ever expanding the hot ones lineup mm-hmm. we want people to know which sauces have been on the show even i forget a lot of the time yeah. right, which right. ones have been on and which ones haven't so it's really easy to be like yeah. hey look for the dots yeah that's right. cool i didn't even notice that yeah. and then uh, uh we do a setup of uh, the most uh, current lineup in the middle so on that shelf there, you're seeing the lineup for uh, season 16. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you guys really just lean into it then, like play into it, obviously. Because like, yeah. I feel like the popularity has grown ever since the show's kind of taken off. Um, yeah, it has. Um, it was uh, 
it was trending even at that point. I think at a, around the time that uh, Hot Ones came out, uh, the hot sauce industry was the fourth fastest growing retail industry in North America. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then also with the, with the onset of uh, COVID and uh, restaurants being closed down, a lot of people got into uh, cooking. Yes. So yes, that's the, true. The, the interest for cooking went up and by extension hot sauce, but we also sell uh, dried peppers, uh, uh, seasonings, uh, powders, and uh, uh, a lot of stuff related to cooking, not just hot sauces, right? So cool. All it's right. It's been great for us. Let's dab this up. All right. Ginger goat. This is five out of 11 on the scale. What am I doing for a dab on this one? Oh, yeah, that's a good a call. blob. Because I did a pretty generous one with the gups. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't, need, to, we don't need to hear it. See, when the drops that. come out that small, it scares me. Yeah. <laughs> she thick. Whoop. It's the pineapple. I might have overdone it for this first one. Yeah, mm. I for sure overdid it. But I, I can be the one that. Mess it Take up. one for the team, Holly. Holy, oh my God. Yeah, that's too. Okay, I'm, I'm doing. I'm. I'm, I'm doing two I'm dabs. Looking like forward you. to that one. <laughs> you can do the size of that one uh, instead. No, okay. no, no, no. Is that, is that is that respectable, guys? Yes, yeah, so you're, you're you're good. Uh, sure. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> I don't like the look. Yeah. Like. No. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Yep. 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 Just because you like screwed yourself doesn't mean I got to say <laughs> no, it. No, you're right. You're right. I'm not gonna blame my mistakes on you. That's not fair. All right. To All ginger right. goat. To ginger, ginger goat. goat. To gingers everywhere. I actually found the gups. I had a bit more of a kick. Hold on. Yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, the back of the tongue starting to <laughs> tense up a bit. It's like I'm sucking on a warhead right now. Yeah. Yeah, she's a sneaky gal. Yeah. This one. Reaper, See, I don't like that. I don't like when it sneaks up on you. Reapers are sneaky like that. Like every every reaper based. Every um, every hot pepper has its own what we call heat signature, so they all hit you in different ways, and uh, uh, the reaper takes just a little time to come on, and then. Mm, okay, so that's how you base it on the timing. Mm -hmm. I don't like when it sneaks up on you like that. I want to know what I'm getting into right when it touches my tongue. <laughs> I'm yeah. with you. Mm -mm. That's not going to happen. That's good, though. That's mm. good. I like that, actually. Okay, this, we're off to a pretty good start here. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, not going to lie. The I next really, one, though. Uh, I really enjoy uh, the contrast of flavors in that one. You have the smoke, you have the sweet, and you mm. have the savory from the ginger. Yeah, flavor-wise, he nailed that one. Yeah. For sure. But, again, he told me that he worked on that one for quite a while. Mm. There were a lot of, uh, uh, you know, trial and error and going back and forth and trying to get the, get the exact right mix. So just going back to it being a Canadian-based uh, sauce, um, when you think of Canada, like, mostly it's just, like, you know, poutine, hockey, <laughs> duct tape. I don't know. That's a big one. I did Google search Cobra that, Cobra chickens and maple syrup. Yeah, that. <laughs> Timmy's. The duct tape, I think, comes from red green, right? Yeah. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. So um, Definitely. that's what people go to right away. Yeah. Hot sauce, I feel like, is very low on the list, but you guys have a huge collection of just Canadian-based hot sauces, and clearly they're good enough because there's several that have been featured on Hot Ones. So Canada's not really known for their hot sauces, but maybe they should be? Um, I definitely think so. Cause, Absolutely. Because uh, there's a... Uh, uh, First of all, there's there's a massive uh, variety. I think probably uh, uh, the majority of hot sauce makers are located in Ontario because we have the best climate for growing peppers here. Okay, but, cool. Uh, <clears throat> they're they're all over. Like they're out east, they're out western. There's uh, grower uh, makers in Alberta, Manitoba, everywhere really. So uh, I definitely think that they deserve. Um, a little bit more uh, recognition because yeah. growing peppers in this climate is very possible, but it's difficult. So, so we should get like bonus points for when we make it like a, like a half decent sauce in Canada should so. be like ranked with like a good sauce. In the All States. Canadian sauces yeah. are great. Yeah, I'm biased. Yeah. All Canadian, sauces, All are Canadian great. sauces are great. I don't care what they taste like; they're all great. <laughs> I've moved four times in Bayshore. Uh, we opened Tanger because they move you around. You know, you, really? Oh, yeah. They, I yeah, didn't know yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Just just cause or like that oh, makes someone no else sense. came in. Someone else wants your place, right? Is it because like do different places have different like costs for rent? Is that why? Well, I'm not like... a national brand, right? So uh, okay. So Mall, like if... Malls get malls make some money off of what you sell too, right? There's it's oh, not just okay. a, you got base rent and then there's the plus plus, right? Oh, okay. I, so I, that makes sense. I never knew that, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So if Lululemon wants your place and your chili chilies, well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that happened to you guys four times then. Yeah, we moved four times in Bayshore. Wow. Uh, I've moved twice in Tanger. Uh, we had some episodes last year there as well. Where we, yeah, right in the heat of the pandemic. Yeah, that must have been tough. Uh, yeah. Jeez, yeah, that's, that must be. That'd probably be the most frustrating part for me is constantly moving. Oh, within very, the same spot. <laughs> very frustrating. <laughs> it's like people like I know lots of people like they move houses and it's literally like across the street down the road it's kind of like the same type thing you got to yeah. move all your stuff just to another place 20 feet away well i had one one occurrence in bayshore after my first uh, store in bayshore uh they came along and yeah you have to we're gonna put you across the way but it's not gonna be ready those people aren't moving out till you know two months after we need you to move oh, that's annoying. so in the meantime you have to move upstairs <laughs> what that's <laughs> for two months that's just and ridiculous. then move back and hot sauce isn't the easiest thing to move right there's a, there's a lot of right. models right <laughs> i thought originally you were gonna say like their start date like was past like where you guys were ending so there's gonna be like time where you guys just couldn't even be open but that yeah. that would that would suck <laughs> no we had to yeah yeah that would suck no i was able to but you know you, you've got this store open and you're working on this store so you can move into this store and not lose any time <laughs> And then when this one's open, you're, you're over at this one, you know, trying to get it ready. So when you can move into that, you're, yeah. Wow. That's frustrating. Yeah. I guess there's pros and cons to being a, in an outlet or a mall. Like obviously you get the foot traffic cause everyone's going to be there, but yeah. I mean that that's a hassle. <laughs> but yeah, it is. It is. It is. And every time it happens, it makes me question what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like every business owner has that at least three times a week, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> you have that, why did I do this moment? Yeah. I could have just had a nice salary gig right out of university <laughs> and been chilling, but here we are. <clears throat> See, actually, another Canadian company that we're going to talk about here is Heartbeat, and that's another one that you recommended, and they were also featured on Hot Ones, but we're not going to do the sauce that was featured on Hot Ones. We're going to actually do their hottest sauce that they have to offer, which is the Heartbeat Poirier Knockout Edition. Because why not? Let's ramp it up no, here. This is a that's seven out of eleven on the scale. Um, that's pretty cool though that it's a, a collaboration with MMA fighter Dustin Poirier. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they started out uh, doing. Uh, um, was it last year? I believe the Poirier came out. So uh, what it is is a uh, Louisiana style, and uh, Heartbeat ferments all their sauces, which gives them a really nice, uh, uh, less uh, vinegar-forward uh, character. Um, so the Poirier came out as a uh, regular Louisiana sauce, um, and then uh, the knockout edition is basically the same recipe except with uh, ghost pepper added to it. Right, right, because yeah. the original one, there is an original one, and this is kind of like yeah. the sequel to yeah. the original one, but the original is only a 2 out of 11, Yeah. so we can't go work our way backwards. No. We did 4 out of 11, 5 out of 11, 7 out of 11. All righty, this is where we ramp things up. Let's do it. Let's pull it out. All right. Let's go. We got a seal on this bad boy or not? No, I took it off. Oh, smart I, cookie. I know, right? It's every now and then. <laughs> I have a couple good ideas. Yeah. Couple, couple. What's it they say? Uh, every uh, stop clock is right twice a day. It's <laughs> factual. All right. Are you watching what I'm doing here? Yes. I'm wow, okay. Gonna, That's a much. decent amount. Is that too much? Oh. I'm kind of much. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Have you guys tried this one? Nope. This no. Is, uh, I'm a big heartbeat uh, fanboy. Oh yeah, and have been since I started working here. Um, I'm not, you know, gonna take credit, but I'll take. I'm not gonna take full credit, but I'll take credit for a lot of the heartbeat that's under people's uh, yeah Christmas trees oh, every yeah. year. Yeah, big big heartbeat. She's gal. Uh, uh, she's probably their uh, primary spokesperson. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Are you good? I think so. We'll find out. <laughs> Let's we'll do see. it. All right. Good luck. So far, it's a little good. There's that saltiness. No, it's not bad. 
I might regret that, but that's not bad. <laughs> Ghost is another sneaky one, mm. unfortunately for you. Yeah. Ghost pepper is um, the one that has a really, really slow burn to come on, mm. but it also lingers a long time. Right. And I think that's why they call it the ghost because you don't think like you don't really notice it until it's way too late. Ah. Yeah. Oh, did you come up with that on your own? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just guessing. Just guessing. <laughs> that was actually not that bad. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. I think um, honestly, I think every fighter should have like a hot sauce brand. This is so on brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The knockout edition. If I were Dustin Poirier, I would probably send a bottle to everyone that I have knocked out in my career. I think that'd be a cool mm. little plug in, especially at the end of fights. That'd be awesome. I like that. Send one to Conor McGregor too. <laughs> he beat, he knocked him out in case you guys didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, not, a, not a big uh, uh, MMA follower, but you know, like the big bouts and that you always hear about. Yeah, so. yeah. No, the name's very on par with like fighting knockout. Um, so this is a, company that you know really went on brand with their naming with it but there's also a lot of other companies that just say fuck it and just name give the most ridiculous names to their hot sauces here so i kind of want to get into that right now because there's some hot sauces here that i've seen there's got like what what's the one called we got uh sweaty beaver oh, yep. yeah <laughs> we have the coca-cola one which just says enjoy cock over there it's, That's a, pretty it's a classic funny. the enjoy cock yeah yeah we have the colon cleaner Mm -hmm. Actually, delicious sauce. Though. Yeah, yes. yeah. That one is really good. It's a mustard uh, based, and uh, we have a pair from uh, Kdrons, Sir uh, Farts a Lot and uh, Queen of Farts. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Farts. Sorry, is, this, is this a South Park bit? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> is that a real thing? Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. It's, yeah. It's real. Yeah. Uh, of the ridiculous names, though, for hot sauces, which ones are you guys' favorites that you guys have here? That's got to be Dirty Dicks. Dirty Dicks? Yeah, oh. Dirty Dicks. We love Dirty Dicks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's, it's right there for you, Helena. <laughs> you gotta... No. Mm, I'm, I'm going to take a pass on this one. Honestly, oh, no. Gonna, that was too easy. A tr a tr truly, Dirty Dicks is like one of our best selling sauces. Yeah, it's and it so is, good. It is a super duper tasty sauce as well. So it's not like killer on the spice yeah. level. Uh, it's uh, habanero and uh, mango with uh, banana and raisins. So mm. it's uh, very sweet. It's got a nice uh, medium heat level. And uh, it has a surprisingly savory aftertaste. Mm. You get the... Dirty the, dicks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not as salty as you might think. Elena! Well. <laughs> you said that like she's your mom. Like, God. <laughs> Again? He just died over there. <laughs> <laughs> One cameraman down. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I was yeah. going to say something to follow that up with. But, oh, yeah, I think <laughs> I think I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> Dirty dick got me off track there. But, we get it. Oh, well, there's another door. Holy moly. <laughs> it's just like a corridor here. <laughs> um, I feel like hot sauce is one of the only products where you want to be as intimidating as you can with your labeling. I feel like any other product, you don't want to be calling it the sweaty beaver or dirty dicks or anything no. like that. Is that like an appeal for you guys, like as hot sauce lovers? Like, do you want to see on the bottle, like it be as intimidating as possible? Like just that bottle right there, like just one fucking drop at a time? <laughs> um, I'm a little torn about that because, uh, uh, so the hot sauce community is, is huge. Uh, we call ourselves uh, Chili Heads. There's uh, uh, tons of groups on Facebook, they're on YouTube, uh, cool. Reddit, uh, Instagram, everywhere. And uh, um, it is a very male dominated community, and there is a lot of nothing's ever hot enough. <laughs> so I'm getting Favorite. a little, you know, over that whole, it's got to be 50,000 Scoville and right. friends and skulls and all that. Because right. um, it, it, uh, uh, it, it pushes a certain group of people away. They're like, like oh, no, I can't do that because it's, it's got to be too hot. It's going to be too hot. The, the me's of the world. Yeah. 
I I took the opposite approach with with mine and named yeah. it after my little kitty cat. Yeah. Um. So nobody's intimidated <laughs> by my labels. No. Super innocent. <laughs> no, like it's it. it's the children that come in or the people that don't like hot sauce that come in and go, oh, that one's cute. You yeah. should get that yeah. one for dad. Yeah. And then mom's like, that's definitely not hot enough for dad. It's got a little cat on it, mm. which is fair. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, you could have easily went dirty with it, like with the cat, like. Oh yeah, you could easily you could <laughs> yeah. easily went dirty with it. It's right Could've, there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> went with the family friendly route. I like that because I would walk in and buy that right away compared to dirty Ooh. dicks. We actually did uh, back in the day have a sauce that was called uh, Larry's Hot Pussy Juice. <laughs> Larry's. Larry's Hot Pussy Juice. And you know what? Like his. I don't think I want Larry's hot. Pussy juice. <laughs> no, no, no. Like for my Larry. eggs in the morning, do I go with dirty dicks or Larry's yeah. hot pussy juice, or do I go with guts? Obviously, <laughs> I'm gonna go with guts because you know it's first thing in the morning, and I want a good start to my day. Yeah, Larry's hot. Pu- that's yeah. Yeah, they they're out of business now. <laughs> they must be out of business. <laughs> um, I haven't seen it for a while. No. <laughs> so I guess I was like ten years into it now. You're kind of like immersed yourself more and more into the hot sauce culture, if you will. Like, is there like much of a like hot sauce culture or community? Uh, definitely, there definitely is. You know, um, there's there's huge online, uh, you know, Facebook stuff like that. I I, I stay out of that. Uh, the I'm, online yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're, not, not, you're not all about the metaverse. You're not nah, into no, <laughs> not not so much into that at all. Um, but. The, the expos, you know, um, New York City Expo, I, uh, Hot Sauce Expo, I went to that the second year it was on, was the first time I went. Right, which, right. And when I went down there, uh, I was uh, an anomaly. I was the only Canadian there, right? So oh, really? I, I met all these makers and uh, in pretty tight with, with some pretty big American makers now. Uh, but there were no other Canadians down there. So, hey, come on over here, man. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, wow. is, it, is it changed now? Oh, yeah. Huge. Oh, okay. Huge. Interesting. Yeah, because we were talking about this um, actually the other day off camera just about this expo. And, like, is it only New York, this expo? The one? You- uh, no. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, but that's, like, kind of the main, like, the biggest one? Yeah. Steve Seabury, who owns High River Sauces, okay. a hot sauce company. Uh, not high river, uh, not from a high river, Alberta, but, uh, from New York city. <laughs> <laughs> not to get confused. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> uh, he puts on these, uh, uh, a bunch of expos. So, uh, New York city is his, his main one. Um, he does Portland now. Uh, oh, okay. been to Portland a couple of times. That's an interesting city to go to for sure. Yeah, what's going on in Portland? <laughs> <laughs> I just know they have a lots of, team. uh, <laughs> you know, lots of demos and, um, Helicopters flying overhead when uh, when uh, the last expo I was there. Um, what were they called? Antifa, is it? Oh, okay, okay. There was a big demo that weekend. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Hotel was warning us not to go outside. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Welcome to Portland, Yeah, man. welcome to Portland. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And at that expo, he he has uh, he has a couple other things going on. He has uh, Lucha Wrestling. Uh, What's that, sorry? He has uh, Mexican wrestlers. He has a big wrestling ring. Shut up. It's an outdoor one. This yeah. is like at the expo yeah, this yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. That's He's got awesome. a full-size wrestling ring with uh, with lucha wrestlers. Or <laughs> What? That's yeah. okay. Yes, like what, what what happens at these expos, I guess, is like that's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, well, there's a huge stage and all these competitions going on, right? People are selling, selling their stuff. You know, Ed Curry's there. Ed Curry's the guy who grew the Carolina Reaper. Uh, his company's oh, called, uh, which is the world, uh, world's hottest pepper, or certified the world's hottest pepper. Right. He's got hotter ones, but it hasn't uh, officially uh, released them Ooh, yet. Wow, exclusive stuff. Yeah. Uh, so he'll be there selling stuff, you know, and people are lined up wanting to buy stuff from Ed or wanting to buy stuff from from uh, from Steve. Uh, that's insane. Tons and tons of uh, exhibitors, right? Yeah, that's He insane. also does... Um, what does he have going on there? He has a uh, Chihuahua uh, beauty pageant. <laughs> at, the, at the hot sauce <laughs> At the hot sauce expo, yeah. 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 Here, let's take all these <laughs> hot sauces, super intense names. We got all these like macho men trying to show up to each other. And then we're going to have a Chihuahua thing yeah, going on yeah. in the middle of it. <laughs> right beside the macho uh, Mexican wrestlers are going to have a Chihuahua pageant. That's hilarious. I love that. That'd be a cool event to go to. Like, You've been every year? 
Uh, Portland, I've been twice. Uh, New York City, I missed the very first one, and then and I missed the one this year. I didn't go. Okay. They had it in September, uh, October, I guess. So when you do go, do you have like a tent set up and everything like that for Chili no. Chili's? You just go and experience it. I just go and experience it. Usually, nice. I, I'm in there helping them set up. You know. Okay. Cool. Uh, if you were to come to my warehouse, you'd, you'd see that we have the the backdrops from, uh, I think, three New York City Hot Sauce Expo uh, stages. Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, you guys have some artwork up, like in the Tanger spot, which is really cool artwork. Yeah. It's like kind of like, it's like hallucination almost, like the way you're looking at it. It's like, I guess like once you have like some of the hottest sauces in the world, you kind of trip out for a little bit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> th- those are those are Steve's posters. He's, he's got a He guy, made those? Uh, no, he's got an artist in, oh, okay, in uh, cool. Portland that, that does them, and uh, I love them. And when we had our 25th, uh, he actually did, I, I commissioned him to do us a, a poster for our 25th. Oh, and nice. that's the backdrop. That it's been cut down a little bit um, that's uh, behind the cache at, at, right, at, right. at uh, I, uh, Tanger. That was the for the 25th anniversary? Yeah, that was for oh, the 25th cool. You know, we took a picture in front of it. Oh, cool. It's a nice, uh, it looks yeah. cool. I like it. Um, so, like, ob- so obviously there's a big culture with the hot sauce scene. Is there like subcultures within the hot sauce scene like is there like people like do you guys kind of laugh and like kind of like shrug off people that are like big franks or like sriracha or tabasco people like are those like (laughs) right right Uh, yeah there will be people coming in for franks do you have any franks uh no (laughs) i was gonna say you guys even (laughs) get that at your local gas station can't you All right, let, let's let's feel the burn. Let's feel the burn. Let's move into Dawson's Reaper Mayhem hot sauce. We have Reaper and Mayhem side by side there, so this already sounds like it's going to be brutal. This is a ten out of eleven on the scale. Yes. So we're ramping it right up. This uh, sauce is eighty-five uh, percent uh, pure Carolina Reaper mash. Just like yeah. a mashed up. Yes, mash. Uh, a mash is generally, it can be made in uh, one of two ways. It's either peppers and salt or peppers and vinegar. Oh, okay, okay. So, so this is going to be really... It's pepper. Okay, it's yeah. just straight reaper. Pretty much. Oh, man. I like how on the bottle it just says, this will burn. Yep. I like that. Just yeah. get right to the well, point. There's, yeah, yeah there, there's, there's really no need to be complicated about it because... What, am I supposed to crack uh, that one? Yeah, or? yeah, you might need to so crack that one open. Then? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like how it just says this will burn the right up front about it. Um, do you guys feel like, are you the people that just like hot stuff just for the sake of liking super spicy foods? Cause for me, I hate it when people eat super spicy foods and it just completely overpowers the actual taste of the food and people are just like, your, sh- your tongue's just straight burning the whole time. Are you guys like that? <laughs> no, absolutely yeah. not. I don't no. want that. I never want that. Unless we're doing something like this and it's all like right. for fun. Right. I'm not. Yeah. I, yeah. Like this one's kind of an exception because first of all, love Dawson's. They're excellent. Everything that they make is is awesome. Um, this one's great to add, like as a cooking additive oh, for me. No. But I'm oh, not. No. I'm not doing <laughs> That's that. a lot. Helena, I'm not doing that. I'm so uh, sorry. You're psycho. That's crazy. <sighs> Have you been talking to my ex? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Larry's hot pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> all her oh seriously okay okay come okay. on well, okay come okay, on. okay i was gonna do gonna i was gonna do hurt. that so i guess here's, so. What, here's what i've got going here okay so um i normally like in daily use probably go majority of the time with medium to medium hot to hot I don't do the extreme on a daily basis. However, there are some good health benefits to doing uh, super hot peppers. Right, I've heard that. I've yeah. Heard that. So it's not a myth. No, okay. no, definitely not a myth. Um, some of them uh, uh, have uh, anti-inflammatory properties, and uh, they're all. And this is going to sound. Yeah, that's enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't oh. even take offense to that. <laughs> no. Know your limit. Play within it, folks. Um, they're also all, and this is going to sound really stupid, but uh, uh, they are good for as a pain medication. Right. Because what does happen is uh, uh, your your brain releases uh, uh, endorphins and adrenaline and all that good stuff, right? So once the burn in here has settled down, uh, if you have, like for me, instance, I have uh, arthritis, and uh, I notice a big improvement 
when I eat hotter sauces uh, versus when I eat milder sauces. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah. I have the joints. Th th they feel more mobile, but also I have less pain. It's like CBD. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Because yeah, I have a friend who, uh, whenever he has a stuffed nose, he just eats like a spoon, like not a spoonful, but like a big chunk of wasabi. Yeah, and, and it's just, just clears yeah, it just right clears out. right out. So typically, you guys wouldn't be having an extreme sauce like this. Yeah. So, well, this is like how we do our guests here on Down the City. We just like to torture them <laughs> at in the morning, break of dawn. We're eating right. Dawson's. Um, what is it called again? Dawson's Reaper, Reaper, Reaper Mayhem. Reaper Mayhem. <laughs> and start the day oh, off shit. with some mayhem. That's all I'm doing. And we'll see how that goes. Are we comparing? That's ridiculous. Helena's yeah, going ridiculous. hard. Cheers, guys. All right, let's go. Nobody ever said I was the smartest to... Mm, put that all in my mouth at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's warm. Until my tongue's like getting stabbed. Okay. Let's move into the back of the tongue. Oh, I almost touched my eye. Oh, that, no, mm, yeah. I don't do that. I told you I was going to do that. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm proud of myself. I'm not crying yet. That's actually not that bad. No, you're, you're That's impressive. not that bad. Impressive. Yeah. It's not that bad. I feel like because I also like put. See, now the sniffles. Mm -hmm. They're coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not going away. Oh, no. <laughs> I oh. really want a sip of water, but I'm not doing it until mm -hmm. you See, do like, it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had a sip yet? One, uh, no. One interesting thing uh, that we uh, uh, noticed at our tasting table is that some people get the hiccups mm. from the super hots, mm -hmm. which is always fun. That happened to me the other day for the first time. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Baby's you never first, had the hiccups before. Baby's first spicy hiccups. <laughs> not not hot sauce induced, but yeah, no. It's actually not bad. So is that a sauce that you like? You wouldn't just like toss that with a bunch of wings, right? That's a sauce that you would like add a little bit in while you're cooking. I wouldn't. Um, first, all that be said, I'm not a huge fan of the Reaper in itself. Um, I don't. Yeah, no, just not uh, not a huge fan. Um, when I do use Reaper sauces, it's uh, in cooking. Right. Yeah, right. if I'm making a pasta sauce or a curry or a stir fry, I find uh, uh, the flavor settles down a little bit when you cook with it. Right. Yeah. It's not going away. No, it's, it's not. It's still there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be there for a little while. <laughs> so with you guys working at a hot sauce uh, shop, do you guys feel pressure when you're eating around people in public to kind of just always be like the spice guy at every function? 100%. Yeah, I do. I, I keep hot sauce in my purse usually. There's usually at least one or two in my purse um, that I have for when I'm going out. I mean, not so much these days with COVID and, you know, all that business. But yeah, usually there's, there's, there's at least one or two in there that I have and <laughs> people are expecting it. I have stocked my children's fridges. I thought you were going to say, I've hot stalked hot my children. Both my kids have uh, uh, stuff in their fridges. And I've, uh, um, I think with me, it's more of uh, a cooking thing in general. Mm. You know, not just, uh, not just hot, but it's like, mom, how do I cook this? And, right. and uh, what are we eating today? What are you making for me today? And is this chicken safe to eat, mom? It's been in my fridge for seven days. <laughs> That's me. I always open it up, smell it. Yeah. Always yeah. go into my room and you smell this. Is it that bad? Yeah. Um, okay, I don't know. Because like, if I were to be at like a function with you guys, I would just expect you guys to be those guys with mm -hmm. the like heavy oh, with yeah. the spices. Oh, we're those guys. We are those guys. Mm -hmm. We're those guys. <laughs> I'm about that life. We might yeah. not always bring the big guns, but uh, yeah, there's always something. Oh, a little something, something. Yeah, because the only – I like how it's – like not your mainstream hot sauces. I like like if you're a true want to like taste the true sauces out there. You got to go for the lower key guys. The only like mainstream one we did in the gauntlet was a uh, heart heart heartbeat heartbeat. Because yeah. those ones you can find in grocery stores, right? Yeah, you can now for sure. Yeah, because they they kind of broke through. Um, yeah. but that'd have been like after their hot ones appearance, they kind of broke through, and then now they're I guess they're like Canadian mainstream. I get 
uh, Thunder Bay. Oh no, no, man! You're no? gonna find you're gonna find those in the well. This guy here, this guy, he's from uh, Great Britain. Um, Great Britain. Yeah, this hothead. Okay. Uh, he's probably he's probably the largest importer of, of hot sauce into into Europe, right? He okay. sells all over. He like container loads, right? Uh, he sells heartbeat. Okay. He sells Heartbeat into Europe. You're going to find Heartbeat in, in, in Australia. You're going to find it uh, maybe not New Zealand, but I think possibly New Zealand. Oh, okay, cool. You'll find it everywhere. Yeah. It's, uh, those guys really broke through big time. Nice. No, big time. I like to hear that. It was good sauce. I liked it. It's yeah. good stuff. I want to try the blueberry one. I didn't want to do it on the show because I didn't want to like <laughs> be the guy that is doing like a rip off of hot ones and he's doing the blueberry <laughs> sauce. You know what I mean? Like, I, got, I had to go for the spicier ones. Right. But, um, speaking of hot ones, actually... Um, did you find that the success of that show kind of helped bring in more like popularity and like intrigue to the hot like Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It it turned a lot more people on to hot sauce, you know, or made a lot more people want to try hot sauce if you will. Um definitely, definitely. Cool. Well, I don't you you notice that we play it constantly on Yeah, it's on the TV up there. I like that. Yeah, I like how you guys like leaned into it too and it's like fuck it, like let's just let's lean into it. Like people like it, they like it. We can use it. you guys sell the hot ones game in there. You guys even uh have it marked down like which sauce. You have like a whole like a little section there too where it's like specifically just the sauces that are on hot ones for that season. Yeah, right? we have season 16 set up there right now and right. then throughout the story we'll have uh Fuizi's little dots and we just put them in front of every sauce that we have that's been on hot ones at one point or or one time or another. Mm-hmm. Um there's uh, I guess the first Canadian sauce was I think you tried Dawson's today, didn't I you? I did try Dawson's. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, So the first Canadian sauce on hot ones was Dawson's. Uh, okay. Brody Dawson from from Hamilton. Um, Hamilton, that showdown from Burlington. It's right, oh. it's right beside me. Yeah. yeah cool. Cool. <laughs> Hometown hero, I guess. Yeah. Well, if you're, he's got, he's got himself a shop open up down in there Hamilton? now. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. Yeah. So if you uh, find yourself in the neighborhood, check it out, man. I will. I will. I'll let him know. Uh, <laughs> I did my own version of Hot Ones with this sauce. <laughs> it's cool because you know you watch the show and you're thinking like that'd be a really cool show to be on. I'd love to do it. And then you know, I, I'm kind of doing it right now, I guess. Just. Yeah. Uh, Smaller version of it. <laughs> smaller version. Smaller version. It's small doses. Um, no, that's cool. I just wanted to. Uh, I want to know though, like what? Because you know, you you said you did the renovations thing, and then the gutter thing, and then now hot sauce. What's your favorite aspect of running a hot sauce business? Would it be like these cool networking events, like the expos that you go to, or would it be just you're dealing with such a like niche product is it the people whether it be employees or uh, people that come into the shop the different characters what would you say would be your favorite part about it um i like the shows i, li- I like i like meeting the people that that make the sauce you know I, I like i like that vibe i like hanging out with those people you know um yeah that, uh, and then i guess the next next thing would be interacting with customers you know right right um in my store, when I'm there, I try to have fun with, with everybody. Yeah, um, yeah. Employees included, you know. Um, I don't know what they had to say about me today, but uh, <laughs> if it was okay. bad, fuck them. <laughs> All righty. You've been eyeing that bottle for it's, a while it's now. It's time for the bomb. Yeah. It's time for the bomb. have to? I don't really? want. I don't really want. Have you guys had the bomb? Oh yeah. Too many times. Yeah. Too many it's times. A, uh, that would that yeah, that was another I don't know what you want to call it, side effect or whatever of uh, doing the uh, uh, taste testing. Right. Am you guys I... would be like, "Oh, oh, I bet you can't." <laughs> and oh. you, you you just can't back down from something like that, right? You got to show them that you yeah, yeah, you can. In fact. <laughs> I do this. Yeah. All righty. Am I going to be able to talk after this? Um is it that you know, bad? like if you have any last words, I mean, now might be a good well, cause time. Because I just like from watching the show Hot Ones, it looks like it's like no one can talk afterwards. So I'm just wondering, like, if we should if I should get my final thoughts out now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be fine. I'll I mean, be fine. it's yeah, it's yeah, it is what it is. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't really want to. No, you go first this time. You're in this deep. Excuse me? <laughs> well, this one's actually an 8 out of 11. So the one we just did, the Dawson's, is two it's, points it's higher. It's rated hotter, yes. So because the, the difference between this one and the ones that we've tried thus far is that this has extract in mm-hmm. it. 
So, like, we were talking about, um, what did you call it? The heat profile? Yeah. Um, the heat profile on a natural pepper sauce versus an extract fueled sauce are so different. Like, this will kick your ass as soon as it hits your tongue in a way that you're not necessarily pleased with. Or prepared for. Or prepared for. Yeah. It, also, this one is known for having a flavor that's sort of like, uh, uh, like ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was I was gonna I was gonna say like beaver musk, but you know. Oh my! Like just for, well, just for being Canadian and all. Battery that. acid. Gasoline. Yeah, gasoline. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. Some yes, people you, claim to like the flavor of this, and I think those people are liars. liars. Yeah, either that or their taste buds have just totally given up on them. Well, thanks for sugarcoating it, guys. Yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> I want you to know what you're in for. Yeah. Oh my goodness, do we have like a stick or something? Yeah. She's clumping. She's clumping. Uh oh, it's a thick one. That's not she, good. Yeah, she's oh. definitely a thick one. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, brilliant for getting rid of squirrels in your bird feeder. Bam. <laughs> so if anyone was wondering how to get rid of those damn squirrels in yeah, your bird feeder. that's how you do it. Come just, to Chili just, Chili's. Just, just look at it. Get some I mean, it just looks evil. Yeah, and it is. It, it is. is. Yeah. Um, it, ooh, like you have it on the stick. Oh, your thumb in my milk. Thank you. I didn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> like you just have it on the stick there. Yeah. And it already looks like it's been dried up for like 10 days. Yes. And you can't tell right now, but there is a smell. It's a smell, and it's a specific smell. And it's not a good and you'll smell. And see, you'll see. Yeah, it's not a good smell. Oh, my good lord. Okay. Here she comes. Oh, man. Oh, oh yeah. Is that too yeah. much? Oh, no. Yeah. That's fine? Yeah, well. Really? That little, eh? Oh, pff. I'm going to rim your glass with it, if that's okay. <laughs> oh, sure. my God. <laughs> <But never. laughs> I don't have my glasses on. I can't see. Oh, be <laughs> So, okay, <laughs> how is this one lower on the scale, then, than the... Dawson's if it's like so this one is um I think we were saying earlier that uh, the majority of our sauces do not have Scoville ratings this one does because when you use an extract in a sauce uh, you have the Scoville rating for the extract and then you can do uh, math to uh, figure out uh, with the other uh, ingredients the dilution and all that and come up with the number so this one has a Scoville rating of, uh, I think it's roughly 135,000 Scoville. This sauce being 85% uh, pure Reaper mash, uh, I would put probably in the five, 600,000 range. Yeah. Will that be fair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, but that being said- I like, know everything you're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> like Holly said, uh, extracts uh, hit you completely different. I'm sure you noticed the difference between uh, uh, these four in terms of when the heat hit you, how it hit you, where it sat in your mouth, and how it felt. Right. This is just going to be nasty. It's just going to be hot. So it's, this one it, just... It's a flaming sword across your lips, and that's it. Well, I like your brutal honesty. I admire it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't sugarcoat something like this because uh, the, <laughs> the truth will come out. Yeah, absolutely will. <laughs> Sooner or later. Well, well, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. It's let's been nice go. knowing you guys. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. Oh. It's so disgusting. Mm -hmm. It feels like monster's just like going up a roller coaster. There it is, mm -hmm. and then we're on the way down. Mm -hmm. Oh no, <laughs> this is it. Oh, I need more plain chicken wing to <laughs> wash it down. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this whole giant piece of cauliflower here. Yeah. Yeah, like. Why would you do that to yourself? Mm -hmm. I'm diving in the milk. Well, here's another interesting little fact. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Your brain responds to capsaicin in the exact same way it responds to cocaine. 
So there's actually something called the pepper hike. My mom's watching. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, mom. Sorry about that. I have no Sorry idea what you're talking your about. Hike. Um, yeah, no, there's actually something called the pepper hike. And uh, particularly when you eat uh, super hot fresh peppers, like that time we ate the ghost pepper, mm -hmm. once the, the, like the brunt of it had settled down, you do get a sense of euphoria, not just from, you know, like just having eaten something that would light most people on fire, but there's also like a physical sense. Right. Yeah. No, I do feel like pitching 50 business ideas right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, you might want to back off on that because they're not always going to be like the smartest ideas mm. you ever had. <laughs> oh my god, this this is bad. You're, you're handling this. Like you're not even. I'm. Not, you're you're on the I'm same boat as me. Mm -hmm. I'm like I'm not even. My tongue's not even like. Oh wow, <laughs> that sucks. I'm gonna have a little sip here. Fuck you, Steve Evans. Gonna... <laughs> Sean, Sean Evans. Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're Steve Evans right now. Yeah, You're right. Like Sean Evans. I'm the evil twin. Oh my god. Okay. I know we touched on it earlier. <laughs> the culture here with you guys and you know the ghost pepper story during the shift. What's another story you guys have that just kind of encapsulates what it's like being here at Chili Chili's? Uh too many. Can too you give many. me like your seventeenth <gasps> favorite story? I mean, oh, the guy with the eyeballs, with the vibrating eyeballs. Do you remember? <laughs> Don't worry, please, 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 please. Details. Oh, okay. Details. So uh, we had a visitor at the store a few years ago. Uh, his name is Greg Foster, and uh, he is actually the Guinness uh, Book of World Record holders for most reapers eaten in uh, one minute. That's yeah, ridiculous. He's been uh, to uh, the uh, New York Hot Sauce Expo. He's a fixture there. And uh, uh, he also has his own line of uh, hot sauces. Now, he's a great big, huge guy. I mean, he's six foot three, easy and big like that. So he came for a visit, and it was during the summer. And uh, Blair had actually grown reapers uh, at home. So he brought in a bunch of fresh reapers. And we set up a little station uh, where uh, Greg was cutting small snippets of reaper and handing out to customers that wanted to try. Oh. And, you know, like there was the expected tears and crying and uh, coughing and uh, running around going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. But then there was this one guy. Um, and, he, you know, like took like a decent, decent sized piece and he chewed on it for about 10 seconds. And then I kid you not, his eyeballs started to vibrate. He was walking around the store doing circles with his eyeballs shaking like this. And we were panicking, thinking, was he having a stroke or something? Are we oh going to have to call the paramedics? But, uh, yeah, he settled down after a while. He was but wired. Yeah, was, <laughs> he was wired. <laughs> oh, my God. This isn't going away, but are you okay, no, Holly? No, it's, it's not good. It's would not you, good. Would you rather have a, a pound of wings with the bomb dabs on each of them mm -hmm. or have to do that with the, ghost, uh, the reaper pepper? Oh, I'll take the reaper any day. Yeah? Yeah. A fresh reaper? Are we forgetting that I threw up all over the back room when we did that? Uh, yeah, but <laughs> all you know. over the back room. <laughs> I still rather. Than you guys do have the security reaper, footage of that? Mm, yeah, I'm sure there's some do. buried in there. Oh, yeah. but I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I thought I was good. And of course, because it was chocolate ice cream too, no, you can figure out the rest. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like it came out the other end. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Actually, they were joking around about um, here you're a big uh, Dirty Dicks fan. Right, right, you right. Love yeah. Dirty Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I love Dirty Dicks. <laughs> that killed me because I was just talking like I find it hilarious. I think hot sauce is one of the only products where the branding you want it to be super intimidating for some reason. Like who like Dirty Dicks? Like who like what? There's another one called uh, like Sweaty Beaver stuff like oh, that. Oh right, like, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that aspect of hot sauce. It's like you know somehow that's appealing to buy. <laughs> or there's the what is it that one? Uh, it's, I I don't know if you saw it. It's called uh, I'm so fucking stupid. No, it, I didn't it's see that. It's all one. split up, right? <laughs> Colon cleaner. That's <laughs> Colon hilarious. Colon cleaner, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a medicine at that point. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, it's made by uh, Professor Fard Pounder. No way. Yeah, yeah. If you look... first name's Fard. No, but that's what they wrote. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. What would you say you've learned the most through this journey? This hot sauce journey of yours. 
uh, learned the most. Yeah, yeah. You know, to uh, I've learned more about myself. I've been able to be myself more. I got <laughs> more. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I, I don't have to, I don't have to conform so much to, to, to things I had to do before. Like when I was selling to older people, you know, I had to dress a certain way. Right. You know, I, I'm selling them $5,000 worth of stuff. I, I, I got to look appropriate right, for right. them to part with that money. Right. Yeah. But now, you know, uh, I get to be more me. Like I said, uh, earlier this week. Tuesday, I think it was. I had a mullet. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. You know, I wear a T-shirt every day now. Uh, th- yes. th- this is this is my work clothes, right? Yeah. You know, um, I get to joke with with, with 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 the people that are buying hot sauce with me. Right. You know? I get to say, hey, I bet you like some dirty dicks. Uh, <laughs> couldn't do that when I was selling gutter helmet to older people. You know what? <laughs> what do you say, <laughs> dude? I guarantee when we used to sample, uh, that was one of my lines, right? When we used to sample, we'd get people in to try stuff, right? And uh, oh, I want to uh, give me something fruity. Here, have you ever had dirty dicks? And usually <laughs> I'd say that to a big fucking dude, right? Have you ever had dirty dicks? And they look at you, dude, try this. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. I guarantee you're going to love it. You're going to love it so much. If you don't love it or if you do love it, you have to run out in front of the store, jump on top of that bench, and scream. <laughs> I love dirty dicks. <laughs> and you know what? I had three or four people do that. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. A mall would be busy as shit and, and they'd be doing it. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. So wait, you actually got people to do that? Yeah. <laughs> I got to try dirty dicks now. I can't knock it till I try it. Oh, yeah. No. You got to have some dirty dicks in your life, man. <laughs> Builds character. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Builds character. <laughs> Just kind of wrapping things up here. Um, what are just some, what's something you really just want people to know about Chili Chili's? Get out there. Well, you're talking to the people right now. What's something that, you guys, whether it be about the culture you guys have, the atmosphere, maybe anything new coming out, anything like that that you want people to know? Ah, well, um, I w- you saw what we did with, with, with Holly, right? We, we helped her out with this. Right, this yeah, let's talk about that, actually. I, completely, I talked about it earlier, so I just completely forgot to bring oh, it right, up. But yeah, right. Holly's obviously the first sauce we tried today, uh, the Gups uh, Maple Habanero Sauce. Honestly, that, I will say, was that was my favorite one. I love that to sauce. To be honest. I, actually, you brought some today. Thank you so yeah, much for yeah, that. That's brought, awesome. Brought you a couple bottles, yeah. But yeah, no, that was actually my favorite sauce. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I love that. Uh, it um i'd like to do more of that you know with uh help help people out and and it would be awesome to our warehouse i um is too small right now i need it i just moved in there last uh january oh okay i need more room uh but the next place i hope to have a small kitchen in there that we can make in some of your guys' own stuff yeah exactly that'd be really cool i'd like to see that you guys starting to actually homegrown you know bring in your own sauces holly obviously had a passion to make her own sauce and you guys are just kind of like let's do it yeah well uh, the more i see uh, maybe not so much uh, just the chili chili's brand but uh, to help other people right uh, give them a leg up you know, nice a yeah. place a place to make their stuff and then we'll sell it yeah. you know it it just gives them a little boost i love that that's awesome like, that's that's a great answer to what <laughs> you want people to know about you. That, that, that's what I'd like to do. That's what yeah. I'd like to do. Um, well, thank you guys so much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for doing this with me. At What a time is it now? We're at like nine, quarter to ten now in the morning. Thank you so much for doing this with me. You guys are awesome. You're oh, the best. It was a lot of fun. It was. Yep. Great way to start the day. Set the tone for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> you awake now? I'm up. I'm up. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, folks. The last episode of Down in the City for 2021. The honor having it with you guys. See you guys in the new year. Thanks. Take care. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, man, for coming on. I really appreciate it. Um, busy schedule, so it was nice to have you come in here and do this. Um, if you guys watched until the end of this video... You would have seen me conquer hot ones right now. Basically conquered hot ones. I did it. Um, surprisingly, only got thrown off by the one sauce. Obviously, the bomb. I kind of expected that going in. I'm proud of myself, though, for handling the other ones. But, you know, I'm ready for a round two. 
we got to do a round two, you and I, at some point. Down the road, we'll do a round two. I want to get you in there and see how you – I want to see you sweating out this time. For sure, man. We'll, <laughs> we'll start with the bomb. We'll start with the bomb. We'll and have we'll get cry progress- fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get all the ones on the 11 out of 11 on the scale. There you go. If you guys, you. How many 11 out of 11 sauces do you guys have? Is there even oh, many? Jeez. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know how many 11. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, we want them. We want them. We want all the heat. <laughs> Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Thank Have you. a good holiday season. Me too. And uh, enjoy the new year. Take Thank it easy, you so guys. Much.